countdown. Hey there, I'm Jonathan Mangum. It's time for You Jokes. Hey everybody, welcome to You Jokes. It is Monday night and that means it is time for You Jokes. Uh, is this your first time watching? Let me tell you about it. You Jokes is a comedy competition program where two very funny people compete for the best joke based on a picture or a meme or an idea I give them. And, you know, that would be a good show in itself. But the fun part is you get to play along, too. Do you have a joke? Type it in right there into the chat. You don't have to have one, but if you do, type it in. It's not going to hurt. Our producer, Josh, who is off camera, will go through all the jokes. He'll pull out a good one to go up against the professionals, and then you vote on who you had, who you thought had the best joke or who you had thought had, should have thought had the best joke. Uh, that's You Jokes. Um, this is our uh, 75th episode of You Jokes, 75. That's that's some um, platinum jubilee, I believe it's called. And we now accept uh, Dogecoin. We're not really selling anything, but we do accept it if you want to give it to us. Also, can we just talk for a second, honestly? Can we just please freaking call it doggy coin? There is a dog on the thing, and it's an e-coin. It's dog e-coin. This doge coin is douchey. Let's not call it that anymore. That way, uh, when you hire a sex worker and your friend said, how do you pay for it? You can say, you did it doggy style. <laughs> then you can laugh, and then he'll help you figure out some of the divorce uh, settlements you're working on. Uh, I want to give a shout out to people in the audience today. I see Carolyn Norman, Darren D, Craig in the UK, who stayed up late, uh, Michelle Carlin, Maurice Gray, Angela Rosetter, Darren D. Uh, we've got Alan Orschel. Hello, Alan. April Kerr. Courtney Perks is here. Henrik Sjorgen. Uh, Sarah Ray Ray Johnson. Uh, Scott Pettigrew is here. William White Jr. Take it from the top. Amy Kahn, the joke lady herself. Uh, Shannon R. Postmaster Radio. Uh, Josh Bagley. The list goes on and on. People are here to play tonight. And these, these two guys I am so excited about having on tonight. Uh, they are both super funny. They've been working forever at coming up with the comedy. So you... Audience, I don't think you can win. That's my challenge. I don't know if you're going to be able to beat these guys. So please welcome now two hilarious people. It's Jay Elvis Weinstein and Andy Kindler. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, gentlemen. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. I'm, like, always, down, like, right? like always, an Andy Kindler audience can't win. <laughs> you're going down, Jay Elvis. I'm working on my uh, competitive spirit. It's you're good. nothing. It's good. You can't really even uh, breathe properly. This is I'm fi I'm figuratively holding my hand to your forehead right now as you swing. <laughs> this is great. Oh. This is like when that dude punched Jake Paul in the face and gave him a black eye at the boxing match. I love that you guys are already fighting. Um, both of you guys, I am huge fans of, by the way. Thank you for being on the show. Um, uh, you, you. you prefer Josh, yes, Jay Elvis, or should I call you Jay Elvis? I uh, prefer Josh. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Josh, Josh, Josh is good. Jelvis also, if you Jelvis. Um, when I refer to Andy referring to you, I will say Josh, but I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll call you uh, JL. This guy froze. <laughs> uh, you, MST, MST3K is one of the greatest shows in television history. It launched a whole concept of television. What, what was it like working on that show, man? Uh, it was fun. I mean, I was there at the very... Uh, beginning days so it was yeah. uh it was sparse it was a lot of lying on the floor holding up puppets <laughs> um it was a lot of improv yeah uh, it was sloppy tv back then sloppy it, well it, you're in the right place for that my friend it's uh, slick it slicked up in the ensuing years but it was it sloppy did. back then always a pleasure though Thank um you. and andy so andy i think the last time i saw you was one of at one of the late great uh willard's parties fred willard's legendary yeah. parties Yes. One of his name one dropping of parties. parties of... <laughs> yes, one of his name. Yeah, <laughs> there was a lot of name dropping at those parties, <laughs> and they were. I, uh, for example, if I said to you, Joe. Oh, he uh -oh. froze. He froze. There we go. 
There you go. You're back. If I said to you, Joe, I'm worldly. You know what my comedy needs? More delaying and freezing (laughs) and things that are happening beyond my control. That's what my comedy needs. (laughs) Oh, man. That worked perfectly with your internet signal. Uh, uh, Andy... But also, I used to go see you all the time back in the at the Largo Comedy Club. That was one of my favorite stand-ups to go see. Uh, but you also were on Everyone Loves Raymond. You were on kid shows. Like you have your hands in all these different buckets of comedy. Yeah, I'm. I'm ready. I'm ready. And uh, I guess I think the way another way of looking at that, at that is never never has turned anything down. Unbelievable. Yes. I did a commercial for Napalm once in the seventies. <laughs> oh, for Napalm. I knocked the remote into the can. He actually toured as Agent Orange. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right, right. <laughs> Look, I'm not responsible. Oh, I'm the bad guy because I'm telling people that Napalm is a good product? <laughs> well, oh, also, I'm playing tonight. I'm playing tonight for the Jews. Okay. The Jews. Wow. The Jews? Annoying people for thousands of years. Okay. The Jews. And if, so if you're playing for the Jews, who are you playing for, Josh? I made my initials for the Jews, and yet Andy is, is usurping my Jew sponsorship. <laughs> well, I, I hope that the Jews win, and I sincerely mean that. On, Andy, uh, Andy is playing for the Jewies. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Every time you call me a Jew, I love it. <laughs> you know, what I really want to know about, too, is you guys have this amazing podcast. I didn't even know you had a podcast. I heard about it. I listened to it, and it was hilarious. Thought Spiral. You got to go listen to this podcast. Please, please tell everyone about it. Uh, two Jews, two mics, two hours. That's Thought Spiral. It's this. No guess. With, it's no this. Guess. It's this without you is what this <laughs> is. Do you hate listening to celebrities? Do you hate when interesting people that you've always wanted to be interviewed show up on the podcast? Those days are over with Thought Spiral. Tune in. Done. You you both really make it seem easy to riff and talk for <laughs> hours, and it's not easy. And what what you're able to do is really pretty entertaining. Easy. So it's pretty uh, easy. <laughs> it's not easy. This guy, he, it's like he'll call me right afterwards. That didn't go well. <laughs> I, I don't he, call. I don't call. It's, call impl- it's, a, it's implied. It's implied. <laughs> It, it usually tur- the stuff I've heard usually is Andy. You you end up walking into a a, a minefield of yes. uh, politics or social issues, and uh, Josh helps pull you back slowly over the hour, which is also very enjoyable. Yes, and then some, but sometimes he's like, uh, I think you're always pretty empathetic, uh, except that I get I get annoying. I have only one bad trait as a podcast co-host. I wow. do not listen. Oh, I don't listen not. to what he's saying. No, no, he does not. <laughs> it's just really defense I play. That's all I do. Well, it's entertaining. And if you if you haven't heard it, please go subscribe and listen to the Thought Spiral podcast because it's awesome. But Thank now you, the moment do. that people are waiting for, they think they can beat you. These regular people think they can take out your glory. Let's find out in our first game of you jokes, which we call... Name the movie is our first game tonight. Name the movie is I will show you a picture. I will show you a picture. And you tell me what movie do you think it's from? Good luck, audience. Good luck, Josh. And good luck, Andy. Here we go with the first picture. What movie? Oh, my God. What movie is this from? Do you have a joke? It is your turn to type it in right now into the chat. If you have a joke, type it in. doesn't have to be a good joke. Just type in a joke. Josh will do his best to pull a good one out. So that is how we start our first game. I believe we're going to start down at the bottom with Mr. Kindler. Andy, uh, wh- what movie is this from? Well, this is a movie that came out that wasn't very uh, – it was called Sleeper Pianist. It was about the pre-World War II in Poland, and then there was this person who uh, played piano uh, in, in her bed. And it was, it was very poignant, but never took off because of the movie The Pianist, oh. which was also about pre-World War II and the Holocaust. And I just want to say, I didn't work on this one that hard. <laughs> You you know it, it 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 was right there, but the high voice, the high character voice, saved that joke, which yeah. I appreciate. Not my best work. Not my best work. <laughs> okay, Josh, it's your turn, sir. What movie is this from? 
you are you are wrong tuna breath it is this is this is from this is clearly from the classic 1937 uh movie sheet music <laughs> um and this is and this is this is the classic scene i can't believe you're spoiler alerting um where she wakes up with a piano after a failed organ transplant <laughs> That is a good one there, sir. Two good jokes to start. Let's go to the audience. Josh, pull one out for us, sir, to go up against these pros. Nick, Amadeus 2, not doing so well. <laughs> From Amadeus 2, not doing so well. Good job, Nick. Uh, those are the two yeah. jokes. That, yeah? I, nothing. I just had an alt, too. Well, look, more jokes are better. <laughs> it'll, help, it'll help the voting. What's your alt? This, this is the honeymoon scene from I Married a Piano. <laughs> works uh let's vote i, I have guys. you all huh you have an all andy well, uh, these were called sleeper pianos they were player pianos they were much more popular they thought this would take off but it just never got off the ground. okay all right good stuff each had an alt joke that's the first time we've had two alt jokes in, in one <laughs> round. So that counts for something Here's how we're going to vote. Normally we say A for audience, but we have Andy. So it's going to be A if you think Andy had the best joke. It's going to be J if you think Josh Elvis has the best joke. And it's going to be C for the comments if you think the audience has the best joke. So is it A for Andy Kindler? Is it J for Josh Elvis? Or is it C for comments? Vote now in the chat. Josh, uh, the other Josh, producer Josh, will do his eyeball count. Uh, unofficial tally, of course, but tell us who he thinks won based on his quick synapse responses to seeing letters fly across the screen. Um, while he's ta tabulating, is that the word? Um, I don't really know what movie this is from, but I will say that uh, when you say you're lying in your bed with your organ exposed, this is exactly what I have in mind. Uh, Josh, who won the first round? <laughs> Jay Elvis! Oh, oh. You know, I, I just want to say... I've had family tragedies, and I feel this is making me feel worse. <laughs> well, you know, people always come back. You know what? I think, Andy, you have the comeback spirit. You, you have the, the high character comedy voice that can save you at the end of any bit. Let's see what happens in round two, which is a game we call. This sounds kind of It's a jingle along. It's a jingle along. Jing along is a game where I'm going to show you a product, and you come up with the jingle. You can sing it or you can say it, whatever's easier for you. Uh, come up with the jingle to what you think the product is. Now, obviously, if you're watching at home, you can't sing, so I'll sing your jingle for you. Uh, I hope I do it justice. Let's take a look at the picture. Here we go. <laughs> hide a poo. Simply go, cover, and go. Hide a poo. That is uh, completely irresponsible. Hide a poo. Do you know what the jingle would be for hide a poo? Type it in now into the chat. The jingle for hide a poo. Uh, available now in these fine stores. We started with Andy last time first, which means Josh Elvis gets to go first. Josh, uh, what would the jingle sound like for this? Um, oh, it's a shit house. It's hide a poo, yeah. It's a place for your poo to hang out. Yeah, it's a shit house <laughs> it's a shit house and they pay a shitload of money for the right to use that song too absolutely uh andy if you're looking for a way to hide feces dog feces and you also love pictures of poo on a box get the hide the poo get the hide the poo you like bathroom humor and you like ugly pictures, hooray, yeah. Strong. That's that wrong? strong? No, strong, I said. <laughs> <laughs> I got to okay. say, uh, I'll go with that. to the Haida Poo people, I mean, if the, the napalm guy is available to sing your <laughs> tune anytime. So please hire him. Let's go to the audience. Uh, Josh, producer Josh, pull out a good joke from the audience. Uh, Eon Barrel, don't need a loo, don't need to sue, it's hide a poo. Yeah! Don't need a loo, don't need to sue. Don't need to sue. That's Those are catchy. All good. Catchy. It's edgy. It's on the edge. Uh, you guys need to vote now. Who had the best jingle for that? Was it A for Andy? Was it J for J Elvis? Or was it 
C for the comments. Type in your vote. Oh, it's now. a shit house. Yeah. I like the strategy. Remind them of the joke. Exactly. Uh, it works. And I, I don't actually know what the real jingle of this would be, but if someone would try this on my lawn, I'll show you how well I hide the dog walker. <laughs> Let's not find that out. Josh, producer Josh, who won uh, this round of the You Jokes? The winner is the audience. Wow. Wow. wow that is a wow. sad comment. Not a good comment on the comedian, sir. <laughs> It is not. It is not. It is uh, Josh with one, the audience with one, and Andy is at zero. <laughs> I'm sorry. Andy. I lowered my lighting somehow. <laughs> we, uh, if your score doesn't improve, we slowly black you out until you're just a little bit of an unseeable person. Uh, you still have a chance to catch up, my friend, because our next game is called this. You tell me what that means. What's it mean? What's it mean is simple. I show you a made up fake word and you give me the definition. Use it in a sentence if you feel feeling sparky. Uh, the fake word today is this. For dipolobes. <laughs> for dipolobes. What is a for dipolobe? What is it? Do you know? Uh, type it in into the chat right now for a chance to win this round. For dipolobes. Good job to you all. Uh, we started with uh, Josh Elvis last time, which means we are down to Andy. Andy, what does this mean? Uh, this is what this is. Uh, these are little tchotchkes that were made. They were earrings that were made in the 50s. And they were made, they were tiny little Fords, Ford trucks. Uh, and you would give them to your pals. And uh, then they would stick in your lobes. Oh, that's very a popular. Kids loved them. So they'd like put them on and go to the skating rink and that yes. kind of thing? Yeah. And I don't know why little, little Ford trucks got popular, but it just happened. Uh, you, they have the Prius ones now, but they're not nearly as, uh, as you can't bright. hear them coming. That's my problem. Oh! I to... <laughs> yes. Uh, let's move up the ladder to JL for the lobes. <laughs> up the ladder. Literally. He's uh, could we, uh, could I get the fake country of origin for this word? Yes. The fake country of origin is Fintopoland. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, for dipolobes uh, were a uh, a small anti-Semitic microbe that Ooh. appeared in the fuel line of Ford cars through the 30s. Oh my gosh! Uh, how 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 were they able to rid uh, rid the the fuel lines of these? Uh, Henry Ford had to die. There, that oh, was what wow! Yeah. Well, he had to die, but but he did it for a good cause there. So uh, good answer there, sir. Let's Thank go you to the sir. audience for dipolobes. <laughs> We have one from Purish Muscles Under Your Nose. The for dipolobes. <laughs> if you were in Bewitched, you would use your for dipolobes for wishes and happy things. Uh, Caviar dreams. Answer. Yeah. Let's vote now. A for Andy. J for Josh. C for comments. Mercy. A mercy. Mercy. Oh, that's right. Just think about Andy doesn't have a point yet. Uh, a for Andy, J for Josh, C for comments. Uh, for dipolobes, the actual word is it's the little indentations that your testicles make if you put 100,000 miles on a Ford F-150 right on the seat. You're looking for wow. dipolobes. Yeah. Wow. Well, I yeah. was thinking like the real word, kind of. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, you can still win, my friend. Uh, I, doubt, I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, uh, tell Wrong. us who won this round of you jokes. Andy! There you go. And I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't think my anti-Semitic microbes had a chance on that one. <laughs> he, he, his cars, they say, were not anti-Semitic. I Just feel, he was. That's right. Yeah. yeah Ironic, ironically, I had a cross to bear there. <laughs> <laughs> well... It is now exciting because it means that both Jay Elvis and Andy and the audience all have a uh, one point tied, you guys. Let's see who breaks that tie with this game. Oh, bumble, 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 bumble brag. Bumble brag is I'm going to show you a picture of a person on an online dating uh, app, and you tell me what would their profile read? What would their profile read? And here is the picture. 
Right there. What would this? <laughs> oh, she looks fun. What would her online dating profile read? Uh, type in your joke now into any of the chats that you are watching this on. Uh, good luck, audience. Uh, we are starting back down. I believe it was uh, Andy went first last time. So, Josh, Elvis, uh, what would this lady's dating profile read? Uh, you will never make me happier than vegetables do. But, <laughs> and. And if you have a problem with bananas in the refrigerator, swipe the other way now. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you seriously know someone that puts bananas in the refrigerator? I don't. No. Yeah, there, there shouldn't. It, it's 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 shockingly uh, terrible. To, I I did I knew someone that did that, and it's it was a yeah. nightmare. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. That's where the tropical fruit want to be. Yeah, is in the yeah, free, exactly in the fridge. Uh, going down to you, Andy. What would her online profile read? Uh, I I enjoy a walks of various distances on the beach, laughing at nothing, like I'm in a pharmaceutical commercial, and the movie Nine and a Half Weeks. <laughs> oh, I love that pharmaceutical commercial is hilarious. Uh, good joke there. Let's go to the audience. What do we got? Her online dating profile from Hendrix Jorgen. I leave you a lot. <laughs> I like I like that fun. You know what works? What, why that joke works, Henrik, is that your name is Henrik Jorgen. So you saying I leave you a lot actually makes sense to whatever country of origin people right. assume you are from. It so, wasn't a pun for it him. It wasn't. <laughs> it was a pronunciation. <laughs> he uh, was trying his best. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's vote, y'all. Was it A for Andy? Was it J for J Elvis? Was it C for the comments? This will be the tiebreaker. This is exciting. A for Andy, J for J Elvis, C for comments. Vote now. You know, I don't know. Um, I don't know what her online dating profile would read, but I do guarantee that this lady uses the eggplant emoji a little too much. I think you know what I'm saying. Josh, Aww. who won this round of you jokes? Audience. Oh, wow. We're gonna I have to. <laughs> We're getting our ass kicked, Andy, by the audience. You know what? That's what it's all about, though. We're all funny in our own way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Aren't, I can't I glad? Glad the center of the frame. I don't know how to do it. I wanted something that was like Twitter with my face. <laughs> Aren't you glad that uh, when we do comedy shows that the audience, you know, they they we they laugh and they applaud at our jokes, which we love, but aren't you glad they can't like vote for themselves <laughs> during a comedy no, show? No, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or pitch no, alts, have... or or pitch alts for that matter. Yeah, uh, I I could tell by the attendance that they voted for themselves. Ah, interesting. Like no one comes to see me, Josh. Back me up on that. It's true. <laughs> they hate him. <laughs> He's box office poison. He's serious. Oh. You don't have to. You know. You have to go on. But that's, too I much get there. It. A, little, a little too much there, Josh. Uh, hey, it's time for a little thing that we call this. It's time for last week's best. Last week's best. We know that most of you aren't watching this live because people watch it later. Whatever day you're watching, we want you to still type in your joke. Whenever you're watching, doesn't matter. Type in your joke. We go back. We read all of the jokes for the previous week. We find the best joke uh, from either the last show or from the uh, community tab or the Facebook tab where we put out challenges. And we invite the winner onto the program to compete in the final round. So let's please welcome last week's winner. Uh, Alan Simpson. Alan. Oh, I love you. You were a great senator. You were my favorite senator. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Conservative and Wyoming. I push, apparently a couple of buttons I push for you. Alan, welcome to the show. Uh, this is I'm very happy because you are actually someone that I perform with that I know. And when I saw you won, it made me, made me very happy. You're a great musician, a great improviser. But uh, you've also been like writing music for The Simpsons, which is crazy amazing. That is true. It only took a quarter of a century for me to work on a show that my name is the same as. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, think I thought a it bonus. was a joke the way you said that. That's great. <laughs> uh, so I'm glad you won, Alan. I want to show you what you won for. We played a little game called Caption This. Uh, this was the picture. I said, Caption This. And you answered with the following joke, which was, in addition to being a man down, the new village people couldn't spell either. <laughs> which <laughs> was a good make you think YMCA joke, in case you didn't figure that one out. So, Alan, you get to play in our final round of play. <laughs> this will be fun. Well, here we go. Final game is called right, this. Let's do it. It's an inspirational poster. 
you know, those inspirational posters that are hanging in that office building that you had to go in for some reason for your wife. Well, hey, we're going to show you an inspirational poster and you tell me what does it say? What would this inspirational poster say? This is the final round. Good luck, everyone. I believe the audience has two. Josh has one. Andy has one. We can't win, is oh. your point. Go ahead and take a look at the poster. <laughs> what would <is> this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Hey, do you have a joke? Type it in into the chat. What would this inspirational poster read? Uh, I want to know. I really do. So we'll start off with our last week's winner. Uh, Alan, what would this poster say? Uh, this inspirational poster would say, uh, if you want the best wine, you got to stomp a lot of grapes. Oh, God. Wow. Wow. Man. That is some traditional strangisms that I am not aware of. Uh, but good joke. Let's move up the ladder here to Andy, who is tied with his friend Josh. Andy. Well, there were uh, two footprints in the sand. And then uh, the reason why was God was uh, doing something, a trick with babies. And that's why God's footprints weren't next to yours. Not bad. Not bad. It's a lot of words to fit on the poster, Andy. Oh, hang in there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Two jokes in one. I like it. Let's move up to Josh. Josh, what you got? Uh, dance like no one is responsible. <laughs> <laughs> that's the winner. I'm going to vote for my partner. I love it. I love it. That's a good joke. Let's go to the audience. Josh, producer Josh, pull one out for us. Conrad Fox, you'll get over your kids. Ah, nice, Conrad. <laughs> good joke there. But alas, there can be only one vote, one winner. Uh, and you can vote <laughs> once too, unless you live not in Georgia. Let's vote now. Was it A for Andy? Was it S for Alan Simpson, because uh, you also have an A. So S for Alan Simpson, A for Andy, J for Josh, or C for the comments. Uh, vote now, everyone. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching, by the way. Uh, please uh, hit the like button if you haven't, and please subscribe if you don't mind. Um, you can watch our next You Jokes if you want to play along live. It's going to be next Monday, May 17th at 6 p.m., 9 Eastern. We also have our F. Mary Kill Champion show hosted by Carolyn Page, and that's on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. And we have a new show called High Joke Score coming in June on Fridays where you can compete uh, with jokes for actual money. Not a lot, but money. Uh, so please subscribe so you can see all those shows. Here we are, the final round. Who won You Jokes, Josh? The Jews win! Wow. yes. The Jews. Yes. <laughs> That is finally, mine. finally, no. cool. the Jews okay. win. Congratulations. Oh Thank you, world. Elder, Thank elder. you. <laughs> and you all like, that had to happen. You really like us. Yeah, all that had to happen was Ford had to die, and you both had to say yes to an internet show. And now the Jews have won. So, congratulations. <laughs> very satisfying. Very satisfying. <laughs> uh, fun. Thank you, Alan, for joining us. Uh, Jay Elvis, thank you so much for joining us. Andy, uh, such a pleasure to see you. Uh, you. What a fun show it has been. Please go listen to the Thought Spiral podcast. You will not be disappointed. Uh, and we will see you here for the next You Jokes. Bye, everybody. <laughs>